Hi friends, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to create this kind of side lamp in 3D Studios Max. So let's get started. First, you have to set your dimensions, like which unit setup you want to follow. As I'm following the fractional inches, so just change your unit setup as per your requirement. You can use millimeter as well if you want to make your model in millimeter. So you can do that. All right. And first, we have to measure the idea of this lamp like the dia of this lampshade uh, could be around 10 to 12 inches so I'm just taking the 12 inches dia of a circle this is 12 over here now we can make our model as per this circle Sorry. All right, guys. And, and that would should be around four inches wide and one inches thick, and it could be around five inch long. So we have a roughly idea. So I'm going to create a rectangle is around length is 4 inch width is 5 inch no it's not looking good 4 to 6 3 that's ok 3 or 5 is also sufficient <clears throat> I think 6 is ok ok guys now I am going to convert this into the editable uh, spline select the vertices and make all the vertices into the corner now I can push this edge towards the upside so I can easily make its one arm now we have to apply the extrude, extrude modifier, it could be around 1 inch wide, I'm just going to check this, yes that's correct, alright, I think it's quite small according to our circle. So, okay, that doesn't matter. We will reduce the size of our lampshade. This we will reduce that later. All right, now I have to set its center point. So, I'm just going to center to object. Now, I'm just using the line tool. The shortcut is Alt and A. Now, select the circle. Now you can align your center on that wooden piece. Alright, I'm going to follow the array tool. Just type Alt T and A. Oh, where is that? Yes, that's A. And that's a shortcut. Now we can see the preview. We need that in rotation, so I'm just I'm going to apply at least three in which axis it's uh, I think x axis. No, it's not x x axis. It's y. Y in rotation. No, it's not right. Also, so that should be said. Yes. 
so we need three partitions and it's not looking right so first I'm going to reduce the circle oh the radius is 12 inches so radius should be around 6 inches and that's we are facing that problem that's a major mistake alright friends now I'm going to connect this I have to remove all this modifiers first now 5 inch Five, five, ten. Okay, that will be okay. It's two point five inches. Now we will be doing the same steps. That is okay. Next two inches I'm going to line the center the center is this all right now again array apply the three is equal to one twenty so we have to fill the 120 degree over here. Okay. Now here is our three legs. As you can see that. Now we have to create the center of this. So I'm just using the line tool right now I'm just creating this like this now I have to create another vertices on the center why this convert this to corners It's looking a little weird, but it's okay for the this step. Now apply the extrude. Could be around point five inches. I'll move this to the Now you can see the base. I'm just going to apply a gray color. Okay. Maybe there is many multiple copies. Oops. This one. Okay guys, this is our base. 
this. Now we need the center rod, the crown rod. So you can use a line tool from the front side. How long do you need? So it's depend upon you. Now make it thickness one inches very high. Point five or point two five inches I think that's okay we need to increase the height of the center piece it's 2.5 inches so we need to increase that to 4 inches yeah, that's okay it's not looking like quite similar but because we don't have the dimensions, we are just using our basics. You can decrease its width or you can increase its uh, length. So it's depend upon you how you are following this. Now we have to create the shade. So this is our shade. It could be around somewhere here. Now you can make the copy for your other steps. Apply the extrude. Oops, we need a hollow circle. So we will delete this later. Okay, so it could be around 9 inches. Now it's looking weird, 6. Yeah, that's okay. Six is okay. So I'm just going to apply the added poly on this. Now select the polygon and remove the faces. Yeah. If you want a thick surface, so you can apply the shell over it. Use point zero five point zero five is okay. Now you can apply point zero point zero two. Yeah, yeah, that's looking good. If you want to design its frame, so you can do that. With the circles like three mm, so three D using three mm. That could be okay. But we need this frame in inside that. So that's okay. can make a copy for its inner circle now we need three rods to join this make this as a single object
for it guys this is our basic if you want to design a bulb holder so you can use that but we don't need that because it's not visible in our scene so you don't need to increase your polygons Oops, I'm afraid, so frame this our access mode. This is our lamp shade. I think there is something wrong, so maybe I have to check that. Maybe it's a shell problem. Point one inches, no, point zero two inches. Point zero three. Alright guys, these are lamp basic. Now you can apply the wooden texture over it. You can apply the fabric, translucent fabric. In the next video, I will show you how to material your lamp and how to achieve this translucent finishing. So please stay tuned with my another video. Thank you very much for watching.